This is an improv video for you. Tim with Perkins Roofing. Do not buy new construction homes. Stay away from developers. They're idiots, and this is why. Look at this detail here on this home. You might say, what's going on here? Let me show you. First off, a crane truck just drove by. We're in a brand new neighborhood. Those are all model homes right there. So this is all brand new construction. This home is like a year old and chips, 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 concrete tiles. Like I always say, don't use concrete tiles. Concrete tiles suck, that's why. That's number one. That's just concrete tiles though. Developers, number two. Look at this genius architecture here. They sloped this tile roof right back into this wall here. And you can see that they did not use cap sheet. This is just a regular underlayment. It's not even TU plus. So this is probably like 45 or 60 mil underlayment. And my phone cannot even fit in here. So now they've got leaks on the wall flashing here and you can see, it's hard to see. My phone doesn't even fit in here barely. And my phone is only four inches wide. It's an Apple iPhone. But look at this gap. How am I supposed to repair in here? How can I get in here to fix this? So this area here is all rot, rust, it's all bad. It's all deteriorated. And this is just bull and membrane and L metal. They didn't put a cap sheet. This is not target flashed whatsoever. And you can see the crappy stucco job they did in here. And now because they put this fascia back in here, it can't even fit. So basically to do this job, we gotta take this fascia out it's the only way someone's gonna get in there. We have to take all these tiles out. Ugh. Take this fascia out. Take this drip metal out. Redo this whole drip metal along this whole thing up here just to fit in here. And they use the wrong paper in here because what these developers do, because I know some and I've quoted some of these jobs, um, they pay people nothing. They pay people nothing. They buy the cheapest materials, all the cheapest materials. They pay nothing. Like literally, I made my prices so cheap and they told me I'm still three times more expensive than the people they're paying. They just find illegals, there are illegals up here. They don't know what the hell they're doing. They have the worst materials and then they do stuff like this, where now no one can even come in to fix this properly. You can see here, they've got the wrong papers. Just a terrible job. Like how am I supposed to fix this? Look how long this is. I've got to fix this whole thing all the way across to it. Can't get in there. And it's leaking against the wall here. And it's the same way on the other side here. It's just unbelievable. You see there's actually broken tiles here. I did not break those. There's about 15 broken tiles up here. I didn't break those. I'm assuming that's probably the crappy developer installer. You can see how they plant trees right next to the edge of the roof. Brilliant. You can see here tiles already popping out broken tiles the reason these are falling out is because they're fastened in fat no fasteners fasteners are broken see here look these aren't even straight these aren't even nailed in straight you should be using screws if you're gonna put tiles in but these aren't even nailed with fasteners but these aren't even in straight and water's gonna come right down there into the roof because they're puncturing the membrane the membrane is the water barrier not the tile so they're puncturing the membrane this is off water can leak straight down these nails and come in like, that's why you don't fasten tiles. This is why developers are idiots, because they do the cheapest, dumbest possible way. You should use foam for tiles. You gotta use the right papers. It's just unbelievable. Look at this side. I know I'm rambling now, but look at this valley here, this cricket. So what they did on this cricket, that's regular paper. It's not even two plus, it's like a cheap underlayment. And you can see the bowl and membrane here. They just flash this in along the whole wall with blue and membrane. And this paper's already gone after a year because guess what? This has only approval for UV for 180 days. This should be cap sheeted in and even siliconed. That's developers for you. And you can see here, just bad work. You can still see the plastic and the stucco just popping out on the corners. And then look, they block the water flow right here too, around the corner. So just brilliant work, brilliant. 
grade F. Nice job, developer. I mean, look, there's a crane truck because they're still building these houses. This, <laughs> they're still building these houses and the concrete tiles are already broken. It's just unreal to me. So basically, at the end of the day, just be very careful. Uh, there's not one developer that's better than all. They all do the same thing. They all just build the cheapest possible homes they can. They sell them for a ton of money. Um, so if you have a brand new house, I would still perform an inspection and have an inspector or a certified roofer, licensed roofer, come check the roof because you don't want to buy a new construction house and end up with stuff like this. Stay away from that. If you have any questions or need us to check out your roof, you can call us at 305 MIA Roof for Miami Dade, Broward, Monroe, for Port St. Lucie, for Martin County, for Palm Beach County. Call us at 561 559 Roof. We don't do work like this. It's crap.